Java Server Pages Architecture. So the web server needs a JSP engine that is a container to process JSP pages. The JSP container is responsible for intercepting requests for JSP pages. And this tutorial makes use of Apache which has built in JSP container to support JSP pages development. A JSP container works with the web server to provide the runtime environment and other services a JSP needs. And it knows how to understand the special elements that are part of JSPs. So JSP container and JSP files in a web application. Client, typical web server, supporting JSP, internet, JSP files stored in web server, Oracle database. So JSP processing. So how the web server creates the web page using JSP? So as with a normal page, your browser sends an HTTP request to the web server. And the web server recognizes that the HTTP request is for a JSP page and forwards it to a JSP engine. And this is done by using the URL or JSP page which ends with .jsp instead of .html. And the JSP engine loads the JSP page from disk and converts it into a servlet content. And this conversion is very simple in which all template text is converted to print LN statements and all JSP elements are converted to Java code. This code implements the corresponding dynamic behavior of the page. The JSP engine compares the servlet into an executable class and forwards the original request to a servlet engine. A part of the web server called the servlet engine loads the servlet class and executes it. And during execution, the servlet produces an output in HTML format and the output is further passed on to the web server by the servlet engine inside an HTTP response. The web server forwards the HTTP response to your browser in terms of static HTML content. And finally, the web browser handles the dynamically generated HTML page inside the HTTP response exactly as if it were a static page. So typically the JSP engine checks to see whether a servlet for a JSP file already exists and whether the modification date on the JSP is older than the servlet. If the JSP is older than its generated servlet, the JSP container assumes that the JSP has been changed and the generated servlet still matches the JSP contents. And this makes the process more efficient than with other scripting languages such as PHP and therefore faster. So in a way, JSP page is really another way to write a servlet without having to be a Java programming wiz. And except for translation phase, a JSP page is handled exactly like a regular servlet.